do, 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 do. You want to sing along? Who? Uh, ah! That's the, that's the lyrics of the song. I was gonna, I was gonna sing "Star Spangled Man" from the first Captain America because "Star Spangled Banner." Star, Star Spangled Man from the first Cap, from the first Captain Banner. No, <laughs> from the first Captain America. But uh, I forgot the lyrics. Even though I just I was listening to it on the way to actually do the review for like literally five minutes before right before mm-hmm. this, and I was listening to it before like last night too, and then like and I and uh, I saw I rewatched the first Captain America like over over like the past weekend, and I liked it. You and rewatched it. Now, how many times do you watch a movie? It depends on the movie. Uh, Captain many, America is the most amount. Um, Scott Pilgrim like a hundred billion times probably. <laughs> And theater is frozen four times. This guy. <laughs> but anyway, uh, he watches it four times within a month. Uh, we did. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Within a month. Because generally they stay in with all, only a month, maybe two. Depends on the movie. But anyway, uh, if, you, if you couldn't tell already, we saw Captain America. I don't. I don't have like the, like I'm not like I don't have like a Captain America shield shirt. Like apparently a lot of people did. I, like my A push teacher. My a, like my A push teacher had it. A couple of the people we saw at GameStop they had it. But I do have a United States shirt with a bunch of different license, license plates. plates. So like I'm, I'm patriotic that way. I thought you only wore that because of the school events. <laughs> No, well, like there were plenty of people. Never mind. That's an that's entirely that's entirely different story for another time. And we saw Captain America, <laughs> the Winter Soldier. Yeah. Subtitle. Otherwise, it could be the first one. Well, then we called the first one the First Avenger. Yeah, that, but we got to put the subtitle in. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Subtitle. It was really it was really good. I can, what else can I, what else can I say? It was a lot. Of fun. It was it was like one of it was probably like my favorite. <laughs> Of the Phase Two film so far, I don't know. Iron Man Three, Thor Two, Iron Man Three, Thor Two, and now Captain America. Phase Two, let me see. Is Phase Two like everything after the Avengers? Movie? After Avengers, <laughs> and everything building up to Avengers Two. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Just, just trying to get through everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cause because that's me. Because we had like dinner. Before this review, because I didn't want to go dinnerless, because it's already late as it was and it's crowded. And because we decided to make this a special movie because it's actually well, it's sort of Matt's birthday. Sort of. Yeah, I got ice cream <laughs> and a free IMAX ticket. Well, a free IMAX ticket. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, just, just for clarification, Evan paid for it and. Uh, it wasn't given out by the theater. Don't don't go saying, "Oh, it's my birthday. Can I have a free movie?" <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I do that all the time. But anyway, yeah, I mean, this is I, I... bright red lights. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was noticeable in the video though. No, it's not. Was it? No, I don't think so. Anyway, Captain America. Uh, um, uh, trying to think about like what, it, cause it's. <laughs> Without like strong gang to spoilers, because this is, this is a giant like, game like we always use spoilers, dude. I know, but like not for like the first like five minutes. That's our goal. Yeah, four minutes, good enough. But anyway, like this is like again, because this is really this really is like sort of a big game changer for the whole like direction of the cin- of the Marvel cinematic universe. It changes it changes everything you know about Shield. There's like this one like. Sort of stationary anchor that connects everything together. Not anymore. No, it's not. And I don't like again. Like if you if you missed it, I, I review. I watched the. I, I did an impressions on uh, the latest episode of Agents <laughs> of Shield, which will probably which will really actually really need a, like a title change after this this movie comes out. Like a knockoff series. Agents. <laughs> Agents of Shield. X. X agents. No, no, just say Agents of Shield X. Especially in terms of the chronology of the sh- of the of the of, the, of like all the movies, because they're all supposed to be happening at, at the, the exact same time. Yeah, because that's how it works. And I don't know how the sh- how Shield's working. I don't how get agents- how the Avengers work, honestly, because like 
They're all at the, the problem. Yeah, there was that one problem. There was that one scene which was like where they go to uh, the Falcon's house, and he's like, "We can we can trust no one." Well, you can trust our. Uh, Tony Stark and Thor and Bruce Banner, wherever he is, and oh, what about Hawkeye? I thought you, I thought you and the black, her, him and the Black Widow were pretty friendly. <coughs> but yeah. cross, but you know that's yeah. that's all for next year. All right, it's past five minutes. Okay. Well, okay, look. Well, the entire movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, just okay. Final. Impre- let's just get the actual impressions out of the way, so we actually leave people with like you know an idea of like. If they should see this movie, and they probably already have, and I they that will. Was supposed to be the conclusion. I know, but like it's no. This is like don't, the, you, don't you remember this the, is essay? Like the thesis? This is essay format. Here. This is the thesis statement where and, you just introduce your ideas, where you actually put your impressions down, or in the conclusion when you make your state. <laughs> your, but this is the thesis drive, statement, Corey. Your drive. Yeah, you're just supposed to say. You're just supposed to introduce it. I know, and I think this is like this is yeah, this is one of the better like the this is the best out of the Phase Two movies. It's the least likely to piss off comic book fans as much as like Iron Man Three did. Even though I thought that was really funny. I know, I thought like yeah, Iron Man Three was a lot more funnier than this, like a lot more funnier. This is like the most serious Marvel movie to date. But this one has his a lot, opinion, his opinion, and this one has a lot as much more like. Defined stakes, and uh, it's just like an effect on like the whole Marvel universe than Thor two ever did. Even though Thor two was fine, Thor two you just kind of you just it, they just said it was bad. You didn't kind of know what was gonna happen. <laughs> Wait, to me, it was like too. It was so it was so kind of like small scale or predictable in a way, and they didn't have any clear way of like how everything changed other than Loki being taking over Odin, uh, disguising himself as o- Odin. I love, I love, like, honestly. Sorry, people. Sorry, sorry, Tom Hiddleston fans. No Loki in this movie. I'm sorry. Illusions, dude. I love illusions. But you do get plenty, you do get plenty of Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Is there, oh, okay, no, no, it's just me. All right. I thought it was getting darker. <laughs> It's like ten. It's like ten now. This is probably the latest we've ever actually done one of these reviews. Yeah, well, it's also the latest we actually watched a movie. No Thor. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, uh, yes. no. It was sooner technically. Yeah. But anyway, it's the lo- latest we started at like five thirty, right? Yeah. But again, it's like this movie feels like a very sort of an old, like a nineteen seventies like political thriller type movie, but like it's just a bunch of. Blockbuster elements thrown into it in comic books. What was the one I what was that? It was All Presidents Men. No, I mean that was like I don't know that one. I haven't watched that. What was that? One? Just keep talking. I'll I'll think I'll think. I mean, it has all the I mean, it has all the tropes. It has like government conspiracy, like doubt and like government cons- conspiracy and distrust. Robert Redford. Jack Ryan. What? Jack Ryan. Oh yeah, this is oh yeah, I forgot to mention this is way better than Jack Ryan, infinitely better than Jack Ryan. No, what I was saying is kind of like the same. It's the same thing. tone they're going for. It's like because the they had infiltration yeah. basically, but this was infinitely more exciting than Jack Ryan. <laughs> Only because like well, this is better directed, and they had this one had more clear stakes. It wasn't as. I thought, they, I thought they spelled it out pretty clearly in uh, Jack Ryan. I know. Oh, they're going to do this, which leads to this, which ultimately does this, and everyone gets screwed. It's called, ma- it's called, no, it was like, fr- uh, fr- no, in, in, not inflation. It was something to do with inflation. <laughs> something to do with rely, re- not being self-sufficient and reliant on other foreign <laughs> investment, which the U.S. is currently... Mm-hmm. Reliant on foreign investment. <laughs> and this one, like, we really need to, like, this is, we really need to decrease our mili- or military spending. Oh, no, the, it would have been possible if the, I, I think, my opinion, don't go all over me, you, uh, the U.S. is just not, not keeping, not being, not, not maintaining their number one status in military. 
That that's just my opinion. I mean, like they if Especially they after they this. they think I think they could have done some stuff to uh, at least slow the progress of other. Not I mean, it's not like I hate other nations or anything. <laughs> Are you racist, but, Corey? How is that racist? Are you national? No, not nationalist. Nationalist is like communism. <laughs> when we do, oh, uh, technically we do have communism in this movie, or no, a new form of or neo Nazism. Yeah, neo Nazism. Yeah, because it's. Are the, they racing? <laughs> <laughs> they're racist against all human. The villains in this movie. They're technically racist against all humanity, or they're racist against freedom. No, I was no, just. I'm these, just talking about these, these random people. These random people <laughs> that no one can see in the movie. <laughs> just like chasing each other, and like like a mom and a kid and like some other friends and yeah. I don't know, or maybe it's just a really old, a lot older sister and a young, a lot younger brother. I don't know, but that's a, besides the point. You can't even see what is happening. Yeah, but uh, you don't even know what's happening. But uh, <laughs> where, are we, where are we going with this again? But the movie, yes, um, <laughs> visuals. Oh, I see a cash call. There's so many explosions. Yes. Much so many. So, that, man, that ending was great. So many explosions. This has the best. This is easily the best action of like any of the Marvel movies by far. I think in terms of this, in terms of choreography, and That's just because like because it has machines and it's more. Oh, I well, no, because uh, 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 because uh, uh, the movie comes from uh, Joe and Anthony Russo, who've done pretty much only TV work, TV comedies like Community. Albert's in this movie as a fun fact. <laughs> Danny Pudi's in the movie. And I was thinking, wow, my God, this is so meta. And I'm thinking, like, wow, this is perfectly timed with the GI Joe with the GI Jeff episode. So maybe, I'm thinking, like, this is a pseudo sequel. <laughs> Where like Albert got jealous of Jeff being in the GI Joe movie, so now in Albert's <laughs> head, he's part of the new Captain America. But anyway, uh, again, they've only done TV. They've only done like TV comedies and only like one movie, which was like You Mean Dupree. Which I've never seen, and apparently it's only just bleh. But, um, Appar- damn. Apparently. But damn, they do some really great action in this movie. <laughs> yeah, the fight scenes are really cool. <laughs> and with the sound and effects. And also illogical. Like, illogical, sure. Illogical. Yeah, physics, bitch. Every it's time- not even physics! <laughs> oh, he's got a shield and he's running toward me. He's holding it, covering his no, face like, all and the, upper body. Let me shoot the shield. No, it's just no. That all the ways uh, Captain America uses the shield and the way, like the perfect angles. Oh like, yeah, that, that that. I mean, it's like every it, like, time always comes back to him. Oh, always, like, always where exactly where he needs it to be. It's like physics, and always imagine Captain America in his head going, "Physics, bitch." <laughs> But yeah, because like I remember uh, an interview or something on or an article like they're, they're uh, he lost the shield by the way. Just just saying he lost the shield at the end of this episode uh, at the movie. They, no. Yes. Yeah, they, they will find they, it eventually. I'm sure he, he has. Yeah, well, I'm sure they will. Just because it's this rare metal vibranium. <laughs> but anyway, like uh, they're they were heavily influenced on the raid. And if you haven't seen the raid, or Which raid, I have it. It's an it, that's a phenomenally violent it's this visceral martial arts movie, <laughs> and that and that carries that car, uh, like that carries all the way through in this movie. Like they have that they have the same kind of like uh, very, very fast frenetic sh- like way of uh, shooting action. Not exactly shaky cam, but a lot of like, but a lot of like uh, creative, creative martial arts. Very visceral, very impactful, and also like there's a lot of they there's a lot of. Uh, Practical effects, all the car crashes you see, they were, those are real. All the stunts you see, those are real. All yeah, the ha- they they really blew up a car. Yeah, they. Um, that's why, like, that's why, like, uh, <laughs> like when they had the two car chase scenes, though, though, that's why they were so exciting because there were actually cars happening and they were crashing into each other and very. Oh yeah, there's a lot of car crashing, like not ex- not not like explosion explosives, but like. Like literally cars crashing. Damn it! Did we get punched? <laughs> For what? It's the Warriors. We're being punked by skateboard kids. How? These two what little happened? kids were like behind, like dancing and like giggling. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, uh, anyway. Back to- I, I was. In, I, I don't look here. I don't look here often, and I definitely don't look back there often. <laughs> 
But anyway, uh, where was I going with that? It's like, this movie really makes me want to see Need for Speed. Because, like, it's because, like, when Even you... Even though you said it wasn't going to be that good. It's not good, apparently. It's, like, oh, like a 20-something on Rotten Tomatoes. But, like, man, like, if, these, if this is what practical car chases look like nowadays, that, I'd want to see more of those. Because they look great. They're really darn, darn, they're really freaking exciting. It's like that whole like one that whole like main car chase with uh with a uh, Sam Jack with Nick Fury. The the problem is people in the real world don't do that. Yeah. They're not experienced in it. So then that doesn't happen. Yeah. That that's why the car chases are like But oh, that's why I watch movies, because they're, they're exciting. They're they're just driving down the highway. <laughs> that part. That was. I know. That was. You were thinking that too. It was like when they, when the Winter Soldier ambushes them, like in the middle of the highway. All the cars keep moving forward. So some, like the cars behind them, just like move to the other lane. Was that what you were referring to? Oh my god, highway. But yeah, again, like as Matt said, like all this, like all the sound effects, everything just feels visceral and very real. Real. It's it's one of those kinds of it's one of those action movies that like it gives you like this very tingling like chill or sort of shock up your spine and that, that to me that's a sign of like this is really exciting. This yeah, a little action. a little technical thing here. Uh, we watched it IMAX 3D and the it's not like a lot. It's not like spazzing 3D. It's it's a it's mild 3D. I mean, it's noticeable 3D. I've noticed that de- there is a lot of good def use of def in this movie. I think. Yeah, so there, there, it, it doesn't hurt. Like it's not there, it doesn't strain. It's your not a great three D. I think it, you could. It doesn't strain your eyes and stuff, so yeah. it's not that bad if you uh, have a problem with three D movies. There's some nice depth, like beyond the window work. Like he, the window behind us would come closer to you, but otherwise you can see it in two D, no problem. <laughs> but you missed the explosions. There isn't a lot of popping out. It's more going in. Yeah, yeah it doesn't do too much of that crazy like pop out. I hate, like, I don't like, like the pop out a lot. Yeah, like, at, like Universal it gets, where it's it gets, like scary. I don't like, like the that's pop the worst. Out. Yeah. It was well done. Right? Yeah, I anyway. hate pop out. <laughs> and again, like also like this is a this movie feels like it has a lot more stakes in it, and then like <laughs> this movie just feels like it has a lot more stakes in it. Like there's. The humor here is like it's so really, it's so very prevalent, but it's a lot more sparse and carefully handled. Because you have people, you have characters dying. You have like you it's... have. <coughs> go on, go on. You have characters dying. You have like everyone sort of like double crossing each other, or like sort of just doubting each other. You have all well, these like dark secrets. There is a uh, reason for that. The Winter Soldier. Well, or not the Winter Soldier. Apparently, after Captain America defeats Hydra, the remaining members of Hydra learned a lesson. You gotta have people willing to give up their freedom. Is the lesson, apparently. And so, somehow they got from that. Oh, let's join, let's infiltrate S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> I don't know. So, you know, they're, they, they kind of multiplied mm-hmm. while in S.H.I.E.L.D., yeah, to me, that that worked for me because I know a lot of people. Some people complain like this: the the whole political the whole political message was saying how we're giving up our freedom for like security. For, yeah, that worked. The, the the whole the whole project was what was this name? Project Project Insight. Insight. I don't. I know why they call basically it like that, these. But, th- well, cause yeah, they, but they it's really, it's three helicarriers, twenty four twenty four seven, circling the globe with globe with satellite posi- uh, system targeting with, and all like eighty with, like precision, precision. We can kill like two. We can put, kill like a thousand people in like a second with like with like these guns or whatever. <laughs> yeah, like they specifically target. These people that have like a, like a record of being like bad. Oh no 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 that, that that's not what its uh, intent was though. Yeah. We're we're just going over the basic idea. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much just. It it, it like it like. There's like you, it, if you like in the streets of a of a big big city like I guess New York I guess it could pick out and kill the one person. I appreciate that one streets. that one split second shot of them like targeting the the Avengers Tower. It's like no. <laughs> But like in uh, 
Oh, and when they targeted the like the dad in the baseball field. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what does he have to do with anything? <laughs> Makes it well. You know, but I guess No, that- but that that that's after after you learn that there's a they the what the hell is uh Hydra in you know is infiltrating, right? And they got some members pretty high up there, and so they kind of they kind of s- that sabotaged it sort of the targeting systems yeah. to tar and it gave it this weird algorithm that targets anyone that is was a past threat to Hydra, anything that is a present threat to Hydra, and anything, and that, anything could be. that w- anyone that will be that could be it predicts will be a threat. To Hydra in the future, and, and somehow this algorithm. Well, it's a nice com- does yeah. that. It's a nice, co- it's a nice theme, theme about like how like ha- bringing up the past in relation to like the Winter Soldier, Soldier sort of predict like how like that affects the future and whatnot. Oh yeah, I forgot to wear my glasses for this intro, but anyway. But yeah, I think the, the political message here works strong enough, even though like the. Yeah, but anyway, like the whole again, it's like it's the whole theme of uh, one uh, sacrifice of freedom for, for like for, like for the idea of uh, secu- of more security and like using the past to sort of predict to predict the future, something like a Minority Report. It works well in this movie. You, even that it's not Minority Report doesn't use the past to predict the future. It was, it's they the just have these things that. I said, well, it's like it's the same kind of. have these people that just, just see it. It's the same kind of idea. It's like the whole like fate, fate versus, ver, fate versus uh, like human nature or a sort of like, re, uh, resi- resistance towards like sort of fate or like a, a kind of status quo, if you know what I mean. Some people should just. But not. I think it works enough and well enough in this film because they they bring it up sparsely enough to like it to be a relevant point and even if you think it does fail like that's not the focus of a film like say if if it failed in something like a Christopher Nolan movie like in one of his Dark Knight movies then it would 